Should you really be delaying spaying or neutering your dog? A new study just came out looking at ACL injury and the age of spaying or neutering. This is something you really need to know. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. The whole spay and neuter debate, it's gotten a little bit complicated the last few years. There have been a number of studies have since come out the last two or three years, which are strongly suggesting that for many breeds, we should be delaying the age at which they're being spayed and neutered. But not everyone agrees on this. Some veterinarians, they're now suggesting to clients, you should be delaying the age at which you spay or neuter your dog, potentially even your cat. Many other ones though are saying, no, we still got to stick with the same standard. Spay and neuter by the age of six months of age. It's going to prevent serious things such as mammary cancer. A bit confusing, right? If you've been wondering exactly who do you believe, if you happen to have a puppy, for instance, and you're also kind of wondering like exactly at what age should I have him or her spayed or neutered? Well, this new study may help you rethink and may help you formulate your answer. The paper is titled Cranial Cruciate Ligament Rupture, an Age of Neutering in Labrador Retrievers. The big conclusion of the study, neutering prior to 12 months of age, that significantly increased the risk of cranial cruciate ligament rupture. It is multifactorial. It isn't just specifically the age of neutering, but that's directly correlated with so much of it. Another big underlying cause, obesity, a high BMI. But what can cause that, in big part, losing those sex hormones early on makes your dog much more likely to be overweight. And then lastly, they had a strong correlation with these repetitive high-impact strain activities. You know, they're running really fast. You know, after that chuck it, especially on that firm ground and say on concrete or asphalt or something. But still, above all else, when they look at all the other factors, the age of which these dogs were spayed or neutered it played a massive role. And the other big thing to add in, within certain breeds, specifically Labrador Retrievers, there's a heritable component to this. Meaning for some of these breeds, some of these lines, some of this can be passed on via genetics. So yeah, you take the age with their spayed or neutered, they gain a whole lot of weight, they're repeatedly running after that ball or they have other high impact, high strain activities. And then on top of that, you add in the genetics that have been passed on. You can see how that all kind of goes in together. And then you have a dog that is so much more likely to have an ACL injury. So now there are a number of steady advantages of why you should be delaying the age of which your dog is spayed or neutered, especially in these medium to larger breeds. Well, number one, what we just talked about, ACL injury, far decreased chance of ACL injury. Second big orthopedic disease, hip dysplasia, far decreased likelihood of your dog getting hip dysplasia if you delay the age where they're being spayed or neutered. Delay spay or neutering, there's a far less chance of your dog being overweight, having increased joint strain, degenerative joint disease, all by delaying spay or neutering. And then lastly, and this is now well recognized in veterinary medicine, there's a decreased chance of certain types of serious cancers, such as osteosarcoma, hemangiosarcoma, in predisposed breeds, if you delay the age of which your dog is spayed or neutered. And I just wanted to explain a little bit about the pathogenesis in terms of how does this happen? Why is it that if you delay the age of which your dog is spayed or neutered, they're less likely to get an ACL injury, less likely to get hip dysplasia. Probably the simplest way to explain it, the testosterone, the estrogen, they play a direct key role in bone growth and in muscle soft tissue growth. So specifically when we're looking at bones, what they do is they, they cause something called a growth plate to have delayed closure. What this means is that the bone, which should be this long, can ultimately be this long. These dogs have longer bones. They're taller, which is gonna affect their conformation. But at the same time, because they've lost those direct sex hormones, i.e. testosterone, for instance, they have less muscle mass. They don't have the same developed soft tissue mass to support that extra long bone. So as you can imagine, all of a sudden then you've got this tall, kind of straight-legged dog. He is much more likely to get an ACL injury. It's not going to have that soft tissue to supporting his hip. 
much more likely to have hip dysplasia. So then ultimately you're left with a question like Dr. Jones, you know, what's the right age? Should I do it at eight months? Should it be 12 months? Should I wait longer? If you've got a medium to large breed dog, Tool is considered on the small side, she's not really representative. But if you've got a dog sort of from 40 or 50 pounds up, you want to delay if you can until, in my opinion, 24 months or two years of age before you have your dog spayed or neutered. And I'm speaking here from just the point of view of bone and muscle and soft tissue development and normal growth. So what happens if you wait till that period of time, then you've got a dog who actually is an adult. Right, they've got the full length of their bones, the proper length of their bones. They haven't grown too long. They've got those muscles to fill in properly, to support things like their knee, support their joints. The soft tissue, i.e. the ligaments, the ACL tendon, that big ligament that goes in between your dog's knee, which keeps tearing, the one we're talking about, it can then properly develop if those sex hormones are there. But if they're not there, we have all these other factors happening. We have bones are too long, muscles, soft tissue that aren't strong enough, much more prone to injury. So my long-winded approach, wait till 24 months if you can. Then other big points to think of, especially for our dogs, eye Labrador Retrievers that are prone to ACL injury. Well, maintaining healthy weight, right? So we're feeding them appropriately, not feeding them excess carbs ensuring they get plenty of physical activity but not this like twisting high strain high impact stuff until they're fully developed upwards of two years of age and then if you can consider those low impact really beneficial activities such as swimming swimming does such a great job of going through the range of extension and flexion your dog is moving the joints building up his muscles in a really supportive way in a swimming environment. So if you've got a lab and they love water, get them in the water. They can swim till their heart's content. It's a great way to build up those muscles, build up the supporting soft tissues, keep that knee strong, keep that hip strong, preventing these serious injuries in the first place. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets of delaying the age of spay and neutering in your dog and specifically how that correlates with ACL injury. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, then you click that link directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book.